fucking hated it. <laughs> so no, it's my first time Tomorrowland. I've been I've been a DJ for just three years now, and um, it, it's like a it's like a dream. It's like Tomorrowland. Um, that's that's a dream. And I always said like people always wanted to go to Tomorrowland with me like as a guest, and I always say no. I'll only go to Tomorrowland if I'm gonna play there. And this year it happened, and it was amazing. I thought okay, I have to play early, so. I thought, what should I do with my set? Because I, I don't want to play like so fucking aggressive and loud if it's not that busy. So, but I went on and it was already full. And um, I was late because we had like the worst traffic jam ever. We went, we were, um, so it was pretty fucked up. We went, I went on 20, 20 minutes later. So I, I played for only 25 minutes. But it was amazing. But now here's the thing coming. It, I, I felt really bad for the DJ after me or the act. The, the laptop were like uh, overheating, it was overheating. So within 10 minutes after my show, they were like, Tony, 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 can you come, please come to me and do another set? So I did like another set of 40 minutes and that was, that was really amazing. I had a great time. <laughs> I've been making house music since three and a half years. I, before I was a drummer, I played in rock bands since I was like eight years old. I, I, I cannot really say it, but I hated house music. I, I, I thought like, ah, oh, everyone can make house music with a computer. Like I was totally against it. But then my band split up and it felt so bad. And I thought, okay, what I'm gonna do now? And then I went to my first house party with a friend of mine. No one was going with him. So I thought, okay, I'll go with you, you know? And I went with him. and. And at that moment, I thought, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make music on my own. No band members that are whining about money and stuff like that. I'm gonna do it alone. And that's like three and a half years ago. Yeah, it's, it's so amazing. I'm still like so thankful and grateful about the fact that Steve Aoki is, is pushing me and uh, I did, did my first uh, record like nine months ago or something. It was a collaboration with Carnage. It was called Michael Jordan. And uh, he signed the track. And since that moment, he's like, we're buddies, you know. And we were having dinner two weeks ago at uh, Ibiza. And yeah, it's amazing to be part of it, you know. But I've got like a pretty great situation because I'm part of like the Mac family, but I'm, I'm signed to spinning, the spinning family as well. So I've got two of the best worlds together so it's it's amazing it's amazing um, to be honest like with all my track names i don't think about it i like start a track and i just give it a random name and when i started uh, with blur warriors i was just like watching movies of ultra 2013 and there was like this little documentary about Blur warriors, like those are the kind of girls who having look like Indians and have the, they look like amazing, like fairy tale people, you know. And I saw like a lot of blur warriors over here, so it's it's like this blur hippie culture that I really like. So I thought this is a song for the blur warriors, and so I'm gonna call it blur warriors, you know. So that's what I thought. I can mention it, you know, it, it's, it, we're working on it right now and it's, it's like almost done and it's, a, it's an amazing track and it's like a little different than the Tony Jr. music and it's with Steve Aoki and, uh, and, and, and Nervo and, and, and Nervo vocal, so yeah. It's gonna be more like a melod melodic track, you know, it's um, like, like the music nowadays, like the EDM sound is gonna change a little bit, like, so it's more like progressive uh, kind of thing, melodic and yeah, I'm gonna talk to Steve within a couple of hours and we're, we're gonna discuss to do some finalizing on the track and have the last time in the studio. So, yeah, that's coming out like really soon. And I don't wanna talk about too much. I know a lot of things about it, but I don't know what I can say. But I know it's with Steve and it's with Nervo. And uh, yeah, I, I really like it. The vocals from Nervo are amazing. And, and I'm working on my, my, I've got another collaboration coming up with my, uh, one of my best buddies, it's like Alvaro. And we just finished it. Uh, I forgot it, forgot to put it on my USB stick, so I couldn't even fucking play it. So that was really dumb for me. But I will play it like uh, in the future in my next uh, shows, like tomorrow and, and stuff like that. But uh, and work on like solo tracks, and, and I want to work really hard. But, but 
the thing I, I just like discovered, I'm, I'm touring so much, like since six months, it's going so sky high. I have to find like the balance between touring and being in my studio because touring is like really hard. So I miss my studio a lot. So I'm, I'm finding the balance between that, but a lot of new things coming up, of course. It is, it is. It's like the best life you could, could imagine. It's like girls, alcohol, be the DJ of the fucking club or festival. It's the best life you can have, but I'm a fucking nerd. You know, I, I like to be alone in my studio late at night, in the morning, and work hard on tracks that I like. And so it, it kind of gives me the feeling as well, I want to go back to my studio, you know. So that's, that's, I find balance between that right now. Keep doing what you're doing, you know, like if you see like movies from five or six years ago, it's growing so, so big. So you're already doing an amazing thing and the vibe is amazing, the people are so cool, so I, I shouldn't give them a message, just like, amazing, you're doing a good, great fucking job. And I love the festival, oh yeah, and one more thing, book me for the next year, on the main stage, that's my message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>